Hi everyone, in this video we will show you how to flash on your own using the self-service program Studio Lite. The first thing that you want to do is verify the phone you're trying to flash is supported in self-service by going to the Flash to Talk Control Center or our website and looking at the supported phone section. If the phone that you're trying to flash is marked in green or it says self-service available, then you can launch the self-service program by clicking the purple self-service button on the left or clicking Studio Light on the desktop. When you see the Studio Light window, you can go ahead and log in with the username and password we provided you, and it's going to bring you to this page here. From here, you can view credits, check flash history, and start a new flash. To begin a flash on your own, you can go ahead and click the new flash button at the bottom right. And now you can go ahead and choose the phone that you're trying to flash. So first, choose the original service provider, then the manufacturer, and then the specific model from that manufacturer. Once you choose that model, it will bring up a picture of the phone, so double check and make sure it looks like it matches, and it will also tell you the cost it is to flash at the bottom. If this looks correct, you can go ahead and click Next at the bottom right. And depending on what phone you just selected, it will bring you up a specific list for you to complete to prepare it for the flash. Make sure you go through this list and you complete all of these steps. If you're not sure how to do any of these steps, you can go to the right and click Detailed Instructions. And then it will give you a specific way to complete that step. Once you have completed the pre-flash checklist, go ahead and go to the bottom right and click Next. And on this page, you can go to the bottom right and click Detect Device. Usually when you click this, it's going to install any drivers that you need, and it will connect to the phone in the program right away. However, if you're unable to connect to the phone, here are a few things that you can try. In this example, I can tell I'm unable to connect to the phone because on the left-hand side, none of the programming is being displayed. And also down in the log at the bottom, it says no devices were found. If you ever run into the issue where you're unable to connect to the phone, the first thing you should do is go to the top right of Studio Lite and click this box up here. And this is going to open the Device Manager. You can use the Device Manager to determine if your PC is able to pick up the phone that you have connected. And the phones are usually going to read under the Modems, Network Adapters, or Ports section and it's usually going to read as the manufacturer name of the phone, such as Kyocera, LG, or Samsung, or it might actually read as the model number of the phone. So if you don't see anything that looks like the phone at all in the device manager, there are a few things you can try. The first thing I always try is try plugging the USB cable into another USB port on the computer. If you still don't see anything, try switching out the USB cable. Redoing that pre-flash checklist sometimes helps. Turning the phone off and on helps. And if all else fails, try a factory reset and start from the beginning. Since this phone wasn't reading, I plugged it into a new USB port, and I now see it showing up under the Other Devices section. If you happen to see something that looks like the phone, but it has a yellow exclamation point or a question mark next to it, like in this example, that just means that you do not have the drivers installed. If you ever run into this issue, you can go back to Studio Lite and navigate to the top right where this green box is. And if you click this, you can go down and click the driver check button. This will automatically download and install any drivers that you need to connect to the phone for the flash. Once you have the drivers installed, the yellow exclamation point should go away, and you can now manually connect to the phone in Studio Lite using the drop-down menu, or you can go ahead and click the Auto button at the bottom left. You can tell we are now connected to the phone because the programming on the left-hand side is now being displayed, and also at the bottom, there's a green bar that says we are connected to the Evo. When you're finally connected to the phone, the only thing that you need to do is go to the top left and clear out the MDN and MIN fields. And go ahead and put the new MDN and MIN from the new service provider that you're flashing to.
You do not need to edit the lock, SID, or PRL fields, but if you're an advanced user and you know your SID or PRL, you can click the boxes and manually input them. In the middle section, make sure the right device model is selected and also the right service provider that you're flashing to. And then finally, choose the correct flash type at the bottom. Once you have reviewed all the information on this page, you can go to the bottom right and click provision, and this will begin the flashing process. It should only take a few seconds for the flash to complete, and when it's done, it's going to automatically restart the phone. It will also bring you to this page here. At the top is a summary of all the information you just input, so go ahead and double check that, and if anything looks incorrect, go ahead and reflash it again. The bottom section will have post-flash instructions, similar to the pre-flash checklist we covered, so make sure you go through that list and everything's complete. After you've completed the post-flash checklist, the first thing that you always want to test on a flash phone are calls. Pay attention to what calls are telling you as well if they aren't working. Usually a busy signal or unauthorized message means that one of the numbers on the account, such as the ESN, MDN, or MIN, is not matching what was flashed inside the phone. If you get calls to work, you can move on and test web. And if web works, you can finally move on to test picture messaging. If you ever have any problems after the flash, you can use the help button located at the bottom left of the control center to help you troubleshoot the flash. Here you can find how to fix YouTube, how to get 3G working, and how to bypass activation screens. If you're still having trouble after that, you can always feel free to make a tech request by clicking the new tech request button at the top left and we'll be able to help you out. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. If you guys have any other questions or comments, please feel free to call our office.